Vets, what's going on tonight? What's going on with you? We are here doing it on to pay tribute to this thing called life. Yeah, no kidding. Electric word, life, it means forever. That's a mighty long time. But I mean to tell you, there's something else. The afterworld. The afterlife. A world of never any happiness where you can always see the sun, day or night. Sorry, it's a Prince song. All right, so hey, we're here to uh, do a Kickstarter thing. We're gonna unbox a thing. Well, it, started, thing. it came in a bag. Um, the bag was pretty beat up, and I had to make sure everything was still in it and it looked pretty good. Um, it's from Jim Balance Taro. Um, if he wrote Taro or ta Taro Taro card type stuff. Taro um, Taro. See, these are the cards. <laughs> I haven't opened them yet because I wanted to do that live with you people. Set that there. They are indeed sealed. Yeah, that's yeah. There's a wrapper, as you can tell. You can see the wrapper still on it. Um, this is a door hanger. Oh my god! Ooh. I likes the back. It says "Enter and be hexed." Whoa! The front, however, says "Enter and be blessed." Oh! Jim Balin is a man that he did originally did the Catwoman of the '90s, made her have bigger boobies. That's what most people bigger remember. boobies. I suppose most people remember from Jim Balin. I think we need to get that. Oh, yeah. I think I need to get that. I think we both need to get that. But these right here, just this right here, here's just a newsletter. Quit growling. Go lay down. How do you like that? I just came from work. That's why I'm dressed as I am. Should we show that? No, you can't show that. Uh -huh. I mean, you could. Yeah. I guess. That. These are all prints, I think. Ow. Yeah, he's being a little turd. Yep. I'm going to turd him. Turd. You've been turded. You've been turded. You've been turded. How many prints are these? Turded. turded. Whoa. You need to try to snap at you? Yeah. Stop it. Here, get your little butt down. Here. Get down. Hey, we got a viewer. What's up, viewer? How you doing? Uh, talk so to us. We're here to talk. How's you doing? Oh, these are prints. Okay, I thought that was a not. comic. I think that's the comic. Okay. I think. Q? Ooh. Whoa, that's nice. Show that. Okay, I'm showing this. And I'm going to show this one. These are awesome. Oh, These yeah. are really well done. This is a... Uh, that's a sketch. This is sketch. It looks like it was originally done yeah, in pencil. pencil. This is this is a print of a sketch. But it was really done in pencil, pencil and you can really tell it was done. It's really nice. It's actually very well done. Oh, you get the right. oh yeah, by the way, let me fix that. Let me fix this little thing called low. Uh, I'm going to mine over here. So, oh, no. no let me go to Going to go to the ground. So we got two viewers. What's up, two viewers? Talk to us. Who are you? A second. I'm going to fix and flip this. Hold on. Give me one and second. And most, most importantly, how, how you doing? 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 I got so, to do the thing, to do the thing. Yeah. Let me do the thing. Hold on, let me do the He's thing. He's doing the thing. I got to do the thing. Oh, did Whoa. the thing. I did the thing. Yeah, that's a good thing because now everything ain't backwards. Yeah, but why are we way over here on one side? How come we can't? We can get screwed over this way. How about if we just move the camera? See? That that? Why don't we just do this right here? Because if you move that, then, then all that does is that. You can do that. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Dude, hey, look, I'm in camera now. Hey, look, we're in Hey, what's up, guys? All right. We're, we're doing the thing. We're doing the thing about the thing. Yeah, we're doing the so thing. So this is a Kickstarter Woo! campaign that had to do with tarot. And tarot is what, Mike? It is a comic book by Jim Balin. I really Jim haven't Balin. really read any of the comics itself. But he and will. I have a lot of them. He'll do some research. I have a lot of them. Look at that. I'm going to put this up here. Very, very nice. Look at the detail that's in these. Yeah, this Pretty thing. amazing. Uh, kind of Lady Deathish to me, in, I guess. In a way. In a way, I guess. Um, Mike Wolfer loves this dude. He backs him too. Look at that. Look at the little hand. Speaking of Mike Wolfer. Yeah, we, we did a thing. We didn't get to, cause of, I, um, I didn't get to uh, fully fund him. I had to send him a message and let him know I had to back out of the last project at the last minute. Um. And I had to due to unforeseen financial difficulties. Same and here. Believe me, it's did it's, not want to. I've been looking forward to it forever. Yeah, it and uh, I did not get to fund him, and that really makes me 
I'm rather happy. upset and, uh, and unhappy. It's amazing. You can do that in a warm. Look at that. That's really nice. I'm sure that that's, that's ink and uh, watercolor. It looks like. looks like watercolor, yeah. The medium medium for this one is uh, ink and watercolor, it looks like. And did he, he, auto, he sign any of these? Not these. Holly sent these out, which is his, uh, his muse and um, girlfriend slash fiance slash hotness. Who? Probably the model for that. Uh, no, she she does some of the modeling for like some of the covers and stuff, like Holly Go Lightly covers. And um, I think I got a couple of her covers actually. Now that I love. Nice. That one I do love. I think that's my favorite. Even though it is. This is Mike's favorite. As you can tell why. Because Mike is Satan. Yeah, I'm the devil. That's hot. Beautiful. Udemus. This right here was done in 02. We can see Holly. Okay. The second of the O's. That's beautiful. beautiful Mike's going to show that print his O face later. Oh. 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 That means he was like, Jesus. awesome. <laughs> Look at that, man. Hey, Jesus. How you doing tonight, man? Yeah, brother. How are you? Como estas? Yeah, what he just said and all that good stuff. Hey, Zeus, did you see my pop that I got from Conan O'Brien? Lucky Joker. Dude, I only entered the contest twice, and I ended up winning. And you can enter it up to four times. And I entered it because I had to work the other two days that it was in, in here. And I just, out of, wow, out, out of the blue, I just kind of decided that I was going to enter it. And I entered it, and I got this box, and I went, holy smoke, what is this box? I opened it up, dude, and I about fell out. It was amazing. That pop is going for $115 on eBay right now. That's that same one. Oh, yeah. Colored. But that but it's not about that pop right now. It's no. about these prints. All all the prints. Notice I sang a prince song earlier and for, we're for, for unboxing prints. But that's not over unboxing though, man. This is not over we're unboxing. We're unboxing some more stuff. Yeah. And he I found my my mask is I'm doing things. I'm almost scared to put it on. Yeah, it's been in a it's been in a uh in an incubator for a while. Look at that one. Right there's like a like a demonic Harley Quinn. Yeah. Demonic Harley Quinn. Like Harley Quinn is not demonic enough. Oh man, oh, man. look at that one. Nice. Hey Zeus, what's going on tonight, man? You're not very talkative. Uh, he, he's probably uh, showing his O face of these prints right here. Look at this one. I like this one too. It's like my second favorite. Yes, it was an awesome pop. Yes, yes, yes. There's only two left. And then we get to show you the spell book. You want to buy it? I'll sell it to you for $150. <laughs> and then that one. Boom. That's all the prints that came in this package. This right here. Oh, and there's other stuff as well. Four viewers. How the hell are you, four viewers? Four viewers, what y'all up to tonight? We've talked to Jesus. Let's hear from you, other what people. Say goblin cat. We need to hear from you. Talk to us. Goblin cat on board. That's like a decal or something. <laughs> nice. It's hilarious. Worst gay porn ever. I know, right? Whoa. <laughs> Man, nice. All right, let me put this over. Play with magic. And this right here says Goblin Cat on board. And that's not all. Just you, you thought it was all, folks, but it's not. This what? is what's next. Oh. Whoa, that's autographed. It's got a little ding down here on the bottom. I gotta get in touch with them, let them know it. See the ding? Yeah. It's still autographed. Holly, Jim. No, thank you. It's awesome, but too steep. It's all right. It's, just, it's not for everybody. Look at that. <laughs> I'll try to sell him the pot. Pop culture junkie! What's up, man? What's up, brother? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I just came from work. And it's, Should we show him this one? 
Um, probably not. No. Yeah. Um, th- I just came from work, and this is no. This is one of my shirts that I throw on under. That's her, huh? Yeah, that's her. You know So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what, who they look like and what they look like. Um, that's Jim Balin. Um, you can go to your local comic book store and pick up any of his uh, broadsword comics, and that's Holly Go Lightly. Um, the artwork inside of here is not for pain of heart. It is all adult. All adult. Yeah. That's hot though. It's very nice though. It's very, very erotica. That's awesome. That's even better. <laughs> That's funny pop that you would see, see the shirt and recognize it immediately like that. I can show that one though. Yeah. This is back when Loot Crate was, was great. decent. It was great. Uh, it wasn't ever great, but I, I guess they had some decent crates. Look at that. They didn't. Loot Crate to me has never been like outstanding. Not like Bandbox. No. Bandbox no. blows it out of the water every. That's cool. Every. There's another cool one too. I am so looking forward to Bandbox this month. I think we all are. Bandbox is going to have uh, crazy. It's going to have crazy. Uh, it's supposed to have uh, Harley. A, a, a Harley yeah, print sketch. in it? Yeah, a sketch. Oh. Print or sketch? Wow. Yeah, it's nice. I would like to show you. It's also it. supposed to have uh, the uh, comic, the uh, the Killing Joke comic, or our, our movie. We're not sure which yet. Wow, that's so suggestive. Yeah, it's, it's, it does this right here. Agreed, Pop. Culture. Junkie. Uh, no, hey Zeus, stay away from Loot Crate, man. I don't know, man. It, they, um, yeah, the Q fig, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I heard about that Q fig. It, it looks Q-fig. pretty. Um, I want to say it was a Harley Q fig or a Joker. It might be different. I, I, yeah, I could be thinking wrong. I've gotten two Q figs from, well, three actually, technically. He's got one of them. I uh, traded him for it. Came I got a, uh, I got a, uh, a, a Deadpool variant. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be Harley as well. I got a, a Deadpool variant, I got a Hulk. And then I got a Batman that, that I traded him for. Yeah, and that I kind of wish I hadn't that now, but that's awesome though. Look it at that. Good it, it's actually autographed by Jim Bailey. Actually Harley. autographed, and somebody else's too. Somebody else's. That's, that's Jim and, and Holly. Oh, Jim and Holly. Jim Bailey and Holly. And, uh, they both autographed it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're betting too. Jesus said it's gonna be Harley. It's, if it ain't Harley, it'll be a, it'll be a Jared Leto uh, Joker, unfortunately. Oh, I got something to show you. I got from the uh, theater. Oh yeah. Since we're on comics. And it's right? it's going for about ten dollars on on eBay right now. Was it fifteen? Yeah, not fifteen. Yeah, it's something for free, and you get for you know you can sell if you wanted to if you want to turn like that pop that I won from Conan O'Brien. We were really excited. Completely about that. free, and the thing's worth like one hundred fifteen right now. Well, I'll set that. And it's going up every day. Is it really? Oh yeah, it went up from sixty-three to it's one hundred fifteen now. I was scared that they were going to start releasing it out to be to be bought, but apparently they're not. Thank God. Even though the package is a little messed up and everything, as you can tell, it is the Joker keychain from the Suicide Squad movie. And if you actually can pay it, really look at it, it says Regal Cinemas in real three D. So that's pretty cool. I thought. I've heard mixed reviews about the. Um, yeah, anti-hero. Yeah, Harley or um, it could be it could be Deadshot. Hellboy, you really you think Hellboy? Yeah, I did it twice, man. Out of the four nights, I was only able to do it twice because I had to work, and I, I I completely did not expect to win, man. The first night that I did it, it didn't work. It wouldn't take my my codes. And so I wrote the people, I was like, hey, you know, it won't take my codes. And, you know, I really want to want to enter this contest. And then uh, they wrote me back and said, all right, now it's reset. You can enter the codes. I entered the codes, and I guess they, I guess I entered it twice, and I won, man. Very lucky. Last year at this time, a friend of mine won a pop from there, which, you know, those things are going for $350, $400 on eBay right now. They're really worth a lot of money. Anyway, so I write, I call him up and I, I, I message him. I say, hey, look, I want that pop. I'll buy it from you. And he goes, no, I, I think I'll keep it. And I was like, dude, you don't even collect. And he goes, but I am now. And I was like, oh, come on, really? So I didn't get the pop from last time. But I can't remember which one it was. You said it was on um, the, uh, da, 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 da. you said it was a. Uh, I can't remember. On uh, Conan. 
It was it, yeah, it was Conan O'Brien, but he was something. he was something in it. But and uh, I don't know how many I either wanted the Superman one or I wanted the uh, I wanted the Joker the Joker one or Joker. or even well, I, I would have taken any four of them, but the one that I really didn't want was the Ghostbusters one. All, all the other three I would have taken because they were freaking awesome. I would have taken them all. Anyway. I'm counting. That's all I'm doing. He's counting. Math is hard. Hey, I didn't pass the twelfth grade. Hey, so if you did win, you'll find out this week, because apparently they 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 released them uh, in part of last week and the first part of this one. Storm so you still Trooper. might win. Yeah, Storm I wanted Trooper. the Stormtrooper one too. Yeah. You really you wanted the Ghostbuster one? Uh, well, most for nostalgia reasons. Yeah, I mean, it was if you look online, uh, the Superman one and the uh, and the uh, Joker one are the ones that are going for the most. So I'm really happy. Cool. Yeah. If you haven't subbed to, uh, sub to Mr. Pop Culture Junkie, or I like to refer to him as the pro wrestling guru slash junkie, the man is a the man is a pure genius. Um, go to his channel, sub him up, watch all his videos from day one to now, and it'll take you a couple months, but still do it. I haven't done it, but you need to beat me. Yeah. That's what he said was the nostalgia reason. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I, I'm going to tell you the reason I, I would like to go see the new one, and just because I don't care if it's women, male, whatever. Uh, you're talking about um, the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah, I want to see it. Only reason I want to watch it is because um, I want to give it a fair shake. I don't want to... No, it ain't because I'm high. I just want to give it a fair shake. I, I really do. I want to I see all the hoopla is about, see if it's worth watching or worth not watching. My wife saw it. She said she liked it, but she's... Most women... She has a different view of... Ghostbusters. ...stuff than I do. Did she like uh, Batman vs. Superman? Cool. Oh, man, great. Hey, if, you, if you're not a... Uh... Sub to ours, go on our. Oh, go you on. sub to us, man. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, OMG? Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I OMG, didn't know. OMG is amazing, man. He maintains most of the, the stuff on. on I, I try to. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not completely up there and doing it 100% no more, but yes, it's it's really good. Cool. Yes. See? Getting some networking going here, folks. This is what and, it's all about. Also, go check out Comic Dude. Sub to him as well. Uh oh. I got oh, this. No. I got this. No worries. I got this. I got this. No chill. Just chill. Just wait a minute. I'll be right back. That is, that is not me to do that. Take that and kill that. Go away. Alright. Go away. And then we, we do, and, do, and do we do this thing right here? Oh, we don't do that. We do this thing. And we hit this button and we do this thing. There we go. And then Oh we, my god. So we go ahead and open the other box while we're in here. Hey, what's up, Rebel? What's up, Rebel? Rebel without a cause? Yeah, sure. Um I've seen part of it because I plan to see it. Um, well, we can go see it tomorrow if you want to. Okay. Um, I have seen parts of it. I haven't seen you all of it. That? Oh yeah, I'm I'm jumping guns, ain't I? I am jumping so many. He's jumping guns. some guns. Jumping some, jumping some guns. But yeah, yeah, we uh we do plan on seeing it. Uh, he works at a theater, so we've got I access don't work to it. At the theater. Let me rephrase this. I work. At there at the theater as a security guard. Uh, so he works at the theater, like I said. He, this guy works at the theater, so we do have access to it. So yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah, uh, cool. Dude, we always try to. Man. Were you on there with us? Yeah, no, he was. Um, he was in the channel. He's always in the chat. We can't see the chat once we go live with them because uh, that's what Comic Dude does. The he was the one Comic Dude, Dude was talking to. Yes, I got one you. of the guys. Holy crap, man! 
These are amazing looking. Look, I'm a lieutenant. <laughs> lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant, lieutenant Dan. Dan. <laughs> Ice cream. Ice cream, Lieutenant Dan. Ice cream. <laughs> You're Larry. Cool. What's up, Mr. Larry? <laughs> Oh man. Okay, it tells you how to do the thing with the thing and how to how to how to do the thing. But okay. if you don't do the thing, you can't do the thing. Okay, cool. You Got do it. The thing. I'm not going to sit. Oh dear Jesus. Whoa. Yes, sir. Um. Y yes, sir. All right, we're not going to go through each each card and show you. I, guys. I'm going to go through each card and look at them though. I can tell you that right now. Oh dear God. Look at that mermaid. Yeah. Oh God. Um. Let's show that one. We'll show you certain cards that, that are most impressive. <laughs> this one I really like is it shows the bum. The bum. The bum. Look at the bum. If you put your, your hand the on the bum. bum. The bum. Dum dum. Ice cream! Legit a Dan! Which thing? Yeah. Yeah. About a hundred dollars. It's bad. It's definitely bad. About seven hundred. Oh, Judge Judy comes on at three. Judge Judy comes on at three? It's bad. It's definitely like, bad. Look at that one. Like she has some ones. tickle bitties. Tickle bitties. Is that Lady Death? Blue Tiger. I know, man. I love these cards. That's what would happen if Lady Death went golf. Oh my god, look at that one. So while he's looking at here and, and creaming in his pants, I'm oh, gonna sit there and, look at that. That is nice. I gotta show that one, dude. Can you show that one? Yeah. I don't care. I know it's an upside down pentagram and all that good <gasps> junk. Oh no, we're all going to Hades. Stock compressors. This thousand. Awesome. Woo! I know, right, man? That is true, guy. Man, oh man. I can show that one, but I ain't going. You know, and that's one of the reasons that we. we one of the reasons, one of the many reasons that we come on so late at night, too, is because trying to make sure that the kids aren't... Kids going to bed. <laughs> I am honored. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my Lord, man, some of these... Oh, dear Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Look at that one. Very look, cartoonish. Very, look at this one. Very look at look at this other stuff is right. Yeah, cool. look at this. That's Holly's stuff there, man. I'm telling you, Holly knows how to do some artwork too. She's she's actually really really talented. Look at that. What's Ain't up, that Mink? Uh, what's up, Mink? Matt Martin? <laughs> no, man. Uh, this isn't Matt Martin. This is uh, Jim Balin. Uh, I wish it was Matt Martin. Matt Martin's awesome too, man. Don't 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 get your heads twisted. Oh, look at that one. Nice. 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 Ice cream. Ice cream for ice cream. Yay. Yeah. We're through the PS4. Yeah. Um, we were one of the first people to start doing the unboxings through the PS4. Um, Unfortunately, just, just decided to do it one day. Uh, we thought about it and because, we said we should do the thing. Yeah, we decided together pretty much oh. to do it because we were uh, recording it on our phones and then putting it up on, on YouTube. And we were getting viewers and everything, but we like it this way. That way we can talk back and forth to you guys and you guys have questions, we can answer questions. If you don't have any questions, we don't care. And uh, if, if anybody were to say, hey, you know, I want that, you know, we could say, hey, you know, this is hit us up and we'll do some dealings that type of thing and if you really want a tarot reading I'm not the guy to give you one because I don't know how to do stuff I used to know that crap I don't do it anymore oh um there, this is a game on the PlayStation 4 called Playroom and there's an app on the, the PlayStation 4 you, you can actually download for your phone called the PlayStation app and there's also a game on here. It ain't really a game. It's called AR Studio for the uh, PS4, and it comes. It downloads to the actual console, and your phone picks it up through the app. And you can actually put the little bitty thing, the things over here that do the floaty thing, like little robot stuff. What are you looking for, brother? Did he just growl at you? Yeah. Really, man? You growling at folks? What's wrong with you? You know no better. You know no good. Yeah, it, it's it's really oh, cool, man. 
it's I enjoy the PS4 version of uh, of us doing YouTube live. I call it YouTube live. YouTube live. But uh, yeah, it's it's very fun, man. Um, we came on here tonight to do these, and uh, I'm gonna put these back in there. Have another another box. I have a box sure. that that I was worried I wasn't gonna get the box in time for Gen Con. As you can tell, I'm not at Gen Con at all. We'll be next year. Yes, sir. I will be at Gen Con next year. I will be saying sayonara to Dragon Con next year because I want to go to Gen Con. Um, I'm taking this fool with me if his wife will allow him to go for two sure. days. Because all it is is a bunch of gaming. If you do not know what um, Gen Con is, go to Gen. You can look it up on YouTube or or and or Google. But this right here is one of the games I backed before I had financial struggles. Which, now again, I've explained this before. Mike backs a lot of stuff on Kickstarter. He's a very he's he's a, he's, a, he's an advocate of Kickstarter. He gets on there, he sees something that's worth backing, and he'll back it. If it's and, worth backing, and and that's great because you know you if you ever wanted back something. Oh wow! Yes, yes, Rebel. It was it came off Kickstarter. Yes. Um, it's the uh, tarot cards for tarot, for tarot. And this guy um, knows all about Kickstarter. If you guys ever had Miobi, uh, there you go. Questions. This guy's the one to ask. I don't think I have back Niobe. Um I have back Wayne uh, from. I don't know if you see my last video or not, but but uh, um, yeah. Man, I've back I backed over 123 so far. <laughs> Um, he, and, he, and, he, and that's it within a year, and I haven't been doing this long. You just go back in here for a little bit. Of her, scared the crap out of her. Poor puppy. Poor puppy. I'm and, Yeah, they're actually tarot cards. Yeah, actual tarot cards. Holy crap! Playmat. Playmat tells you where the mining pool is. I, I guess it was like a thing for the for the whole system of this playmat here. As you can tell, it's been wrapped up. Oh man, you are you must be a security guard, Mr. OMG, Mr. Larry. And if you are, that is awesome. Er, um, he's a first responder in a, in a way, if you want to be honest about it. All security guards are. We both do that. As you can tell. And that's the way the playmat looks. It almost looks like a Mech Warrior Assault from Steampunk era. It's oh yeah, called, that would be a Jenner, probably. Yeah, and this right here is a Brass Empire, which is Steampunk. And I'm a big steampunk fan. That's why I backed this game. It's a game by Mike Nade. Who? Mike Nade. Uh oh, I think that's how you say his name. Mike Nade. Gnade. 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 Grenade. I'm not trying to destroy your name. I think it's awesome. Another man named Mike out there in this world. I work at a hotel and write on my own time. Cool. That's awesome. Really. So you do, that's what I do. I work at a hotel too. I work at one of the biggest cities in Mobile, downtown. You mean, no, he works I'm in sorry, the biggest, biggest hotel. towers in, in Mobile. Yeah, work, he works in the biggest, uh, the biggest tower in Alabama, actually. Is it? I yeah, RSA Towers. And I've been all the way to the top, and you're Whoa. like 700 feet up there. Long for SeaTac Airport. Man, I used to go to SeaTac all the time. No, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, SeaTac, the Seattle Tacoma Airport. If that's the Seattle Tacoma Airport, then yes, I know exactly where that is, and I used to go there all the time. I used to live up there in Seattle. Oh, wow. I'll talk to you. Sorry. You're fine, man. Look at that. I like the rule book. Now, my, one of Mike's passions is um, Board games. steampunk. And board games. The other uh, passion of Mike's is board games. So when he saw a steampunk board game, of course he's going to back it. Um, but it doesn't look much like a board game. It looks more like a uh, like a card game. It is. It's a board game card game. Um, I don't know how to play exactly, but it tells you how to play. Not correct again. So you're right. Yeah. SeaTac. Yeah. Seattle Tacoma. Seattle Tacoma Airport. I love the Seattle Tacoma Airport. It's huge though, man. Good God. All right, so there's employees, there's units, there's mining platform, there's buildings, and there's a lot of little bitty uh, work for placement stuff. Um, takes about an hour to play, one to five players. 
We do need to one weekend get together and just play games and record. Dude, yeah, because your wife would play with us too. Yeah. And your kids? She didn't well, know. No. Well, you're one kid. No. no. Well, how about me and you, your My wife? My kids are way too high practice for that. Well, me and you, your wife, and Jen and um, Daryl? Yeah. We got a plan. So what we're going to do is we'll play, we'll record it, and we'll, then we'll edit it out. I'm guessing, I'm guessing these right here are for the expansion that came with the game. I don't know. I have to read into. We'll have to read up on it. But uh, the artwork on this thing is amazing. Uh, the cards are finely detailed. It look. I mean, it, it looks like something you would get from from you know books a million. Books a million are from uh, you know any of the. Uh, Milton Brad Bradley, any of those games. It's just that good. It's really good concept. It's beautiful. Is your name in here? Is your name in here? Yeah, I'm in there. I'm probably on the bottom. Hold on. There's a lot of backers. I'm playing over here. Look, right there. Michael Woodson's name is in here as a backer. Do it, man. I mean, if you got a PS4, I don't see why you shouldn't. Overwatch, I don't have Overwatch. Um, um, I don't plan on playing Overwatch. I have a friend that, that don't play Overwatch. He plays the other one. Um, crap, what is the other game? It's not made by Blizzard. It's... Um, <laughs> that was wrong on so many levels, man. I want to see if I can do that again. I want to see if I can do it again. <laughs> Woo! Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Uh, oh, man, that's hilarious. Good Lord, man. That, that's scary. Isn't oh, me, can you starting again? Uh, Every time you get in here and, and... Let him have his little... With your gibberish, man. Get off the channel. Go, go somewhere. Yeah, so here I was laughing too, man. I thought it was pretty funny as well. Uh, yeah. Me, please, go play in traffic or something, dude. Please. Go, 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 play, with, go play with electricity. Live wires. Please. Live wires Do only. something. Do go some, away. Do something, do something destructive. <laughs> Anyway, but no, guys, ignore Meek again. He tries to troll us every time, and we yeah. just ignore him. So we're going to ignore him this time. Anyway, so Mike's passions are steampunk and board games, and, and this women. this was because because <laughs> Mike's single now. Basically, watch uh, out! Oh yeah, hide your hide your wives, man. Hide your wives. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, the part so, was epic. Yeah, I know, right? It was like. Oh, so I can try it again. Let's see. We didn't plan that. Not at that all, man. <laughs> oh, it ain't as loud, though, man. It ain't as loud like the first one. Nah, I ain't going to be able to do it. Meek, come on. Cut it out. Hmm. Go away. Leave him alone, man. He'll, 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 he'll kill himself. You're an idiot. He'll kill himself eventually. Um. Yes, yes, we are. Completely. We're white trash. We're all anyway, trash, but anyway. So, all right. So, that's what that's what this was. It was. Uh, hey, I would love to give you mod rights um, on YouTube. Uh, I really don't know how to do that, honestly. I really don't. So, if anybody wants to send me a text or anything or how to send that it. message through PlayStation, let me know how to do that. I will definitely send you straight over to the to the mod rights and let you do what you got to do. Um, hey, if anybody needs any artwork done, like like the unboxing bros thing there, I just I kind of did that doodling around. Yeah, I could do somebody else's. Uh, Rob, I could do your your name if you want and, and put it on a thing, and send it to you. And we will be at Dragon Con. We will. We will be at Dragon Con. And we should should have shirts by then. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, if it's, not, it's a month away. We should be able. To if do. not, I will put unboxing bros on a white T-shirt and walk around with it. I am not afraid to do that. And if anybody ever asks me, like, where does that from? I'm like, oh, by the way, go to our YouTube channel. <laughs> now, there's some people that said they wanted to meet us and stuff, and uh, I can't wait to meet some people uh, and see some old faces and stuff from last year. Mr. Joe Benitez, Mr. Brian Polito, Mr. Brian Polito. Yes, is Wolfram coming? Uh, no, Wolfram would not be there. Huge comic book fans, man. Um, I am a huge comic book fan. I love my Lady Mechanica stuff. I'm more of an indie guy compared to what most people consider comic books nowadays. I am, I'm straight up indie, almost 100%. Yeah. <laughs> you take away their internet? <laughs> Fantasy Roger, you eliminate trolls by destroying a bridge in the real world. I love this, man. <laughs> 
pop but culture junkie. Unfortunately, we just have to ignore ignorance. So we're, we're just going to an idiot. So. Yes. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, Jesus. There's so you, many people. You are going to want to tune into our YouTube channel tremendously. Oh, man. I, I think I know who you are, man. I really do. I don't have a complete clue, but I think I know who you are. Was you ever on um, Kickstarter by any chance? Oh, dude, plug away, brother. Plug away. Dude, dude, don't even be sorry for no cheap plugs. Plug away, dude. Plug away. If y'all got something y'all want to say, something y'all want to Niobe number connect, three, Kickstarter it. soon. Hey, I'm everybody. Look back. Niobe number three, Kickstarter soon. Check it out. Check it out on Kickstarter, Check everybody. it out on Kickstarter, everybody. We will. We're going to check okay, it out. We'll check it out. And if, it, if we had the funds, I will back you because, you know what, that's what I does. He does. I does a thing. He, he does a thing with a thing. I mean, I do the thing. And, and, and it does the things. And it gives you some. It gives you the green stuff that you like to call money. Money, 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 money. But no, and I'll see. See, I can't stop him. Oh man, no, it is not dumb. That is not dumb at all. I think anybody and everybody should have a T-shirt of their of their YouTube channel. I, I just really do. Oh man, you're welcome. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, man. If you, if you ever come on this channel. And you're like, well, I'm going to plug away. Feel, feel free like, to plug. Plug, dude. Plug yourself. Dude. It's, I, I recommend it. Plug yourself. Plug yourself into the well. Woo. Do Woo. Do a thing. Yeah. Woo. But no. <laughs> Your mom goes to college. Woo. <laughs> I'm all hyped up on Mountain Dew. Yeah. I got some Mountain Dew. It's got Black Label stuff. It's the Special Reserve. It's got the berries in it. Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna be at Dragon Con, and there's gonna be some people that, and hopefully we'll have enough shirts to give away. I want to make twenty now. <laughs> I really do. I know ten sounds like uh, a lot of t-shirts, but no, twenty sounds great because I want to give some away for random gifts. Um, I am going to say now that our comic, our comic, our banner giveaway is over. Uh, comic dude, you have won the banner. Really? Yes. Sweet. Yeah. Comic dude was interested in all the comics that came with the banner. He didn't give a damn about that banner. <laughs> he just won the damn comics. The He's banner like, is going to end up on the street. It's going to be like, yeah, screw this. Picked up. Screw this. Screw this big old banner. I don't need this banner. Get this out of here. Oh, thank you, comic. Thank you, Unboxing Bros. Hey, Rebel, I've got to uh, plug... Uh, Rebirth for uh for uh freaking uh, Harley oh, Quinn oh, and Suicide God. Squad, dude. Read those comics. They're epic, epic Rebirth. I mean, just epic comics. Ooh, baby, boy, yeah, so written, they're written so nice, so smooth. Only have two entrants. Jerks. No <laughs> way. Nobody wanted my banner. Ice cream, Lieutenant Dan. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants my stuff. <laughs> I had to give away a bunch of comics to give away a banner. Bunches of them. I think I gave what, like almost 20 comics? Yeah. I mean, it's a stack too. too, man. Brand new stuff. Like I mean, decent comics. Really some decent stuff comics. I got from Blind Box. I did not personally want to give away, but I had to move some inventory I have in my house. I had to get going. Got to get, get it going. Got to get it going. If you, if you saw his man cave, you'd understand. You'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Suicide Squad's amazing. I ain't seen all of it. I've seen where, um, they did. They they walked in and uh, rescued uh, the the black chick, and uh, that's all I'm gonna say because that's all I want to talk about right there because that's all it seemed. Why's well, gotta be a black chick? Why can't be a white chick? Okay, then it was a chick. How about that? It was a chick. They had to rescue a chick to do her thing, and then she ended up doing some stuff, and then uh. Hey, we will be doing a review on the movie. We're gonna go see the movie tomorrow. maybe tomorrow night. We can say tomorrow night. Do the day whatever after we finish the art. Yeah. We're gonna we'll finish it, and then we'll do a live review. Uh, the first contest I ever did, you won it. That's right. Jesus Rodriguez won a contest because I said, hey, who wants this? The first person to comment wins a thing. Jesus did a thing and he won a thing. Jesus sent me a pop. Sent me a, a, a Funko pop. Yeah, he did. He's the man. Mr. Jesus Rodriguez, if you don't know him, now you know him and get to know him. How you doing?
Yeah, a lot of people say it sucked because it didn't have no storyline, but it's a bunch of villains. They do a lot of, a lot of action, a lot of playtime, and it's one fierce roast roller coaster. Yes, that was a contest. <laughs> yeah, it was a contest because I was like, hey, you want this? And you're like, yeah. I was like, cool. <laughs> you win. Congratulations. Oh, really? That is amazing, man. I am going to be um, selling you this pop culture. I would love to enter some more of your stuff. Um, right what now. What would that be happening? No, he just said he's going to be doing it and it should be up tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow uh, evening. Pop, we're going to enter as Unboxing Bros and then and then probably enter as separate <laughs> too. Is it, what, what's no, it no, 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 it is a, he'll be doing this uh, Mystery Mini Unboxing and Movie Review. Oh, no. I thought it was a... No. Just, can't Katana remember. is amazing. She's bad. Everybody's in on this Harley kick. I like Harley Quinn. I love Harley Quinn. But the only thing bad about Harley Quinn is there's too much stuff of Harley Quinn. I mean, hey, comic dude was talking about the uh, about the pudding pops of the Harley Quinn comic. 1,500 of them. We talked to a guy named Trey yesterday at uh, FOS Comics. Oh, what was that, two days ago? Two days ago? Oh. No, it was Friday, wasn't it? It was Friday. Yes. Yeah, we talked to um, we talked to Trey and uh, Dan Westbrook at FOS Comics here in Mobile, Alabama. Plug. Plug. All right, we did the thing. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Deadpool has everything at uh, 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 Gwenpool. You have Miss Deadpool. You have... Uh, Deadhead, you have, you have, uh, there's all kinds of Deadpools. I mean, it's just crazy. Man, there's so much stuff going on nowadays, it, it's, it's retarded crazy. But, crazy. Crazy good. Cinnamon. I don't know, man. I don't know. It just came out. It just comes out. Wow. That just happened. It just happened. But no, um, if you haven't checked out Pop Culture Junkies, uh, awesome, awesome, awesome giveaways. You need to. He does really cool giveaways most of the time. He does some great unboxings. Free wrestling what? crate. Oh, man. That, that crate is amazing, man. Oh, there you go. Internet pulp. Okay, pop culture junk two. Oh, yeah, pop culture junk two. Cool. Go do that thing right there. Because I'm telling you, that that box right there. And I don't understand this. Um, maybe you can clue me in, Mr. Junkie. But I have seen Luke Crate doing a wrestling box. Um, Geek Fuel has rumored they might be doing some other type of box to deal with wrestling. Um, there is uh, WWE is talking about re re uh, releasing a WWE box. TNA is talking about making a brown bag of re uh, mystery box. Um, even Ring of Honor is talking about doing a mystery box. Highspots.com has a mystery box. Um, I don't know all the rest of them that are doing them. I mean, there's so many of them coming out. Is is wrestling on the on the rise again, or is it just going to level itself out, or what? Maybe you can let me know that. What? Really? What? See, man, it's crazy. Yeah, they can. <laughs> Actually, yeah. You can't afford a box. <laughs> well, the, well, it ain't really a box. It's the brown bag special they're thinking about doing. That's funny. And, and mixing a couple of other things inside of it and then giving it away as a $20, $25 box. That's funny. Yeah, well, TNA is... They're the joke of wrestling. They really and truly are. But they really do have some good wrestlers right now that are in there. I mean, TNA has, I know okay. for a fact, they have EC3, who is awesome. And um, they had that new tag team that came out with Al Snow. And Al Snow is in the best shape of his life. I mean, I was like blown away by Al Snow. I was like, what? Wow. Man, it, 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 that's crazy that if Lou Ferrigno is doing a box, I would love to know what it's going to be in. Is it going to be all Hulk related or is it going to be bodybuilder related or is it going to be a mixture of both? Because, I mean, I'm interested either way. 
he was the original Hulk. You know? I hear he doesn't do a lot of signings, so. I've heard that as well, and this is a way for him to get signings out there. You know, this stuff's going to go like hotcakes, and it's going to be worth a lot of money, especially on the internet, on the interwebs. Interwebs. Hmm. Okay, so, so, WrestleMania 3, man, God, my favorite of all time. Hey, I think I, I think I've suggested high spots, but man, that thing's expensive. It's like $50, 55 dollars for a freaking high spots box, and there ain't no telling what comes in it. I hope it comes with a free freaking ring room. My God. Jeez. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, post it on the um, on the uh, comic book enthusiast, or put it on our Facebook page, man. Um, our Facebook page is it was my page originally, but I can't make it. Um, I think about just killing it all together and just making an unboxing bros page. Um, I'm having a little trouble here now. Um, me and my soon to be ex wife, she thinks that, and I'm not trying to talk bad, I'm being actual, very, very nice when I say this. She, she wants this house, and I really don't want her to have the house, but if it came down to it, uh, I could move on and try something different, but I really don't want to move or leave or lose my house. Um, so he's looking for some roommates. Yeah. Yeah, not really. I mean, <laughs> I am, but... Hey, Zeus, moved out here. Yeah, come to Alabama. Live with me. Alabama. Put you up, man. What? No. It, Greenbow, it, Alabama. <laughs> no, that's not even a real city. Or Greenbow. town. Greenbow, Greenbow is no... Greenbow does not exist. Unfortunately. They were trying to say Greenville. Greenville does exist. And that's a little bit further north than us, like maybe an hour away from us. That's up there close Most to of the scenes were shot in South Carolina anyway. Canada there, see? Canada! Canada, is that in the real country? Oh. <laughs> Can you sing us the Canadian? I'm going to tell you something about Canada. I'm pretty sure Rebel Comics already knows this. The Red Green Show, love it, sir. Love the Red Green Show. He does. I do. He's not kidding. He, he I showed love me some the Red Green. We laughed and we cried at it. Um, yeah, come yeah, on. sure, but she'll eat the cats and buy the dogs. So, hey, 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 and they also had that other show too with uh, Rick Moranis and uh, his brother. Oh crap! What is that brother? The, the uh, unboxing rocks is from uh, Canada too. Yes. Rebel. There's a lot of people up there in that area. I wish I was in Canada, eh? Because they they're always talking about how how you guys pay. Out the wazoo for shipping. Mm. Oh, yeah. By the way, I can order tequila from Mexico and don't really have to pay a lot of shipping. But going sending that one comic book from here to you is retarded. I mean, it's like almost fifteen bucks to send you a comic that costs four ninety nine. I don't understand this. I don't understand law that makes you want to do something. You have to pay for the horse and the rider. Well, there is no horse and buggy. Sure there is. No horse and buggy. That's how the mail gets there. Y'all get horse and buggy or y'all get a mail truck? I'm curious. And it sucks, right, Rebel? It's a lot of money, huh? For shipping? Yeah. But do you get any monthly boxes? Monthly subscription boxes? Dear God. I hope they're all in Canada. <laughs> Dear uh, God, what man. What boxes are from Canada? I don't want to say. Um, nerd. I mean, not nerd. Uh, yeah, nerd block. Nerd right? block might be from Canada. I think the block. I think the block company is in Canada. I know they have a uh, company down here in America now, but I think they're based in Canada. Originally was in Canada. Pop in the box was originally in uh, Great Britain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, man, it's man, oh man, those boxes, man. I, I bought one box from Canada. It was four color grills. Oh, that yeah. was insane. It was a regular thirty four ninety nine box. Then he had to ship it with an extra fifteen dollars. Oh man! And then on top of that, when it came here, I spent almost fifty dollars on five comics. Don't get me wrong. They were it, good comics. Yeah, yeah. Stephen Higgins is awesome. He's the one who won one of our. our yeah, he won. Yeah, he won one of our uh, giveaways. Um, it was a, a TNA program. And, hey, the matter of fact, go look at his his channel. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out for him. Yeah, go check him out yeah, on YouTube. Stephen Higgins. Yeah, go check him out. He's got some cool stuff on there, too. And Mander McClanders, go check her out as well. Yeah. She's awesome. 
We could sit here all night and Talk drop about, names. Oh, but, man. Yeah, we could. I mean, we really could. There's a lot of good people. I spent I spent an an exuberant amount of time. Yeah, he does not. on YouTube. He does not. He's lying. The hell you say. The hell I say. I spent an exuberant amount of time on YouTube watching different unboxings of different people. No, he doesn't. Two minute stops on every video. Oh, this sucks. Oh, they suck too. They hear that right? That's solid wood. Not an arm. That's talking about an arm. Yeah. yeah, Stephen Higgins is awesome, man. I, I really like Stephen. Um, but um, he don't ever come check out our channel no more, jerk. Oh. No, I'm joking. Calling him out. Calling him out on that, man. No, it's cool. I ain't worried about it. Just a little tear up a little bit right there. But no, um, there's a lot of things out there that everybody should take in consideration and take out and look and everything. Um, not only do you have, uh, you have him. Mm -hmm. It's a small oh man, Johnny Tayez. <laughs> man, that that guy right there is like the most. I think he I think he's on uh on uh caffeine twenty four seven. He's got a new thing too where he goes to uh. He does vlogs. He, he's got a new a new uh, video out right now where he goes to uh underground toys or something toys and it, it it's like a vlog where he goes inside and stuff. And if you share that video, you're automatically entered for a box of toys contest with him where he'll ask you what you like and then he'll, he'll, um, lost yeah, lost toys. toys. Yeah. Yes. And he'll, he'll make you a box of toys fitting whatever you like. And if it's coming from Johnny, it's going to be good because that dude is amazing. Johnny Tez is one of both of our favorites. We yes. love that dude. And, and, and He's him, hilarious. I, I sent him a big box of toys. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> And I see him a big box of toys, man. Out of all the people that I've seen that got free stuff like that, he's the most thankful. He just, he's genuine, you know? He was like, we were sending me stuff? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I gotta get rid of some toys. I remember when he opened it, he was like, oh my God. But, and you know, that's what it's all about, folks. I mean, you know, if you have something that's just sitting in your, in your damn closet and you don't want it, send it to somebody that wants it, you know? Get it away. Or not give it away, but yeah, even it sell it, you know, do something. I'm selling a bunch of old D and D books. I just seen that. He did. He says, Jesus Rodriguez added a photo and comic book enthusiast. Mm. And that's our that's our oh. uh, actually it's his creation, mm -hmm. his baby. I just go in there and go like. That's all I do. I just hit a like. Okay, yeah. Yeah, D and D is awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's it's uh, it's all exercise stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's bodybuilding stuff. Get right. a shit. Be Luf Rigno. Be the Hulk. I like him. Oh, dude, RPGs. Um, I'm actually starting to play Seventh C Second Edition over at my buddy Mab's house. Him, Robbie, and uh, TJ. I've got a bunch of 3.0 and 3.5 D uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder books and stuff that I'm gonna be selling soon because I don't need them. Because whenever I run a game, I don't go buy the books as much so don't really need them so i pretty much and i i, I, I mostly teach people how to play and then let them go on and, and play that's kind of my thing military x military i was in military for 13 years and that's what i did i pretty much taught people how to do it and they're still gaming to, to this day seven c's yeah seven c seven no seventh c seventh c yeah it's, it's, it's um, a pirate thing right yeah it's pirate thing. Arr! yes it was released from kickstarter I backed it on Kickstarter. Me and TJ did. He bought the pirate booty. He bought the old $200, $200 big old pirate booty. I, I didn't go that elaborate. I just went the $60 stuff. That's all I did. And I still haven't downloaded all my second edition stuff from, from DriveThru. Which also, if you're an RPG here, go to DriveThruRPG.com. Yeah, I know you know what I meant. Yeah, because you're an RPG man. Hey, if you're an RPG here, you, know. you already know, man. Um, the 7C stuff is really cool. I'm, my background is I'm a criminal and a spy. Um, it, it's, and I'm having to figure out what way I'm going to roll my character and see what I want to do with him. Um, I'm trying to be very, very just... Uh, yeah, me too. Oh, man. I started with 2nd Edition. I really did. Back in 1994. Ah. You started a year before I did, Rebel. I started in eight, I started playing in ninety nine. That's funny. I started playing in ninety ninety six, ninety four. But I, I mostly DM and, and I don't yeah, I think uh 
Two hit armor class at zero. Hey, uh, I, I mostly I mostly DM. I I don't even know. I mean, when I play, I don't even usually use a sheet anymore. That's how. It's just you know. Yeah, you got it. I'm a, I'm a big role player. I don't. I don't like. I don't go with the numbers as much. You role play for my games, and and you're and you're set. And that's how you'll get your XP. Then you get these power gamers, gamers that come in here and wanna wanna, you know, max men their characters and stuff. And in other words, they want to rig the system. Yeah. Well, Meta -game. Meta -game. Technically, technically, it's not really rigging the system because they're. I mean, they're following the rules. It's just. As a DM, they're trying to take advantage of you saying, hey, can I play this, you know? And most new DMs will be like, yeah, I'm sure, but not this guy. This guy knows. So. Can I play Minotaur? Yeah, absolutely can. At two levels lower than everybody else. <laughs> and if you want to be a Minotaur of Kryn, it's four levels, four to six levels lower. What about a Minotaur Barbarian? I played GURPS. I vampire. started out on Vampire. I played Champions. Cy love Cyberpunk. Champions is my all time favorite. And I am oh, love Battletech. Man. This dude. Mech man. Warrior. Dude, you're Rebel, you're awesome, man. Why don't you live in the States, dude? Vampire the Masquerade, man, when it first came out, we started playing that game. And we I I I've actually done a live action thing in a real uh, castle in Germany. We ran a, a live action game, two of them, in uh, a real castle in Germany. It was awesome. And Cyberpunk, I played a, uh, a street samurai named Danzig. Battletech, I would always play uh, Bruja, yeah! Aww. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I played City Gangrel, or I would play Gangrel, or I would play, uh, of course, Not Joe Figure Malkavian. Uh, Nosferatu. Nosferatu. When, I, when we did the uh, when we did the LARPing, I played uh, Tremere because it was it was safe because there was a hundred of us there. Oh, downtown? And, uh, I mean, not downtown, but at the, uh, at the college? University, yeah. University of South Alabama, USA, USA. USA, USA. But yeah, so. Cyberpunk, man. I love Cyberpunk. We played a lot of Cyberpunk. Man, you told me about that game right there. You said you have a bunch of uh, PDFs and whatnot? Yes. Uh, Cyberpunk, the guy who, who, who wrote and invented Cyberpunk, just put out a thing on Facebook, look it up, where he's given away a copy of every book signed by him. That's amazing. Yeah, it, it is amazing. And I entered I entered twice somehow because I was one of the first people to enter, and he entered me twice for it. He goes, good luck on it. Wrote me a personal message telling me good luck on it. And I told him about my old characters and stuff. And he goes, that's the reason I did it. That's the reason I invented that game. So, Cyberpunk, man. You can't beat Cyber... Cyber Psychosis. Every... Yeah, Rocker. There you go. Johnny Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand and, and uh, uh, a Rocker. Cyber Psychosis, man. We did, uh, we did one game where we went after a... Uh, a football team that uh, decided that they that uh, as a, uh, a victory thing they were all going to go get implants. So they got they got uh, uh, oh, implants in their, yeah they got they got implants in their, their brain, and then they all got the uh, the uh, crap. I can't remember the name of it, but it was the legs that run real fast, and they all got those, and they just all instantly went into cyber psychosis, and we had to hunt them down and, and, and take them out. Yes, we always wrote. We always wrote in the AV fours. Holy crap! Yeah, see, you know, anybody that, that's ever played the game knows they, they instantly these these words go. Oh, well, I know what that is. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Loved Cyberpunk. This is why we do these things right here. Well, not just LARPing, not just RPG, not just board game, not just comics. Everything, man. Anything geeky, pop related, toy related, video games, hell, why not? We do it all here. We we're don't both, care. We're both RPGers. I DM. I will teach him how to DM one day. I I, mean, um, I play Arcana, which is a it's a deck based thing. Man, 
Hey, anytime, brother. You anytime, come in and, and, and plug away. Hey, I'm serious. I'm getting rid of some of my old books. I'll, I'll, uh, maybe I'll do a video on them and show show people what I got. Go to our Facebook. There you go. Uh, if, if anybody's interested in my books, I'll, I'll sell them at, at price. I'm not going to try to make any money off of them or anything. Uh, you might have to eat shipping on them, or maybe I'll eat shipping. I don't know. It just depends. Well, well you live in Canada, so you might have to eat shipping on that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> unless I fly them to you. Uh, if yeah, on those with a drone. I just, I've got a lot of D&D &D yeah. books. I've got, I've, I've got a stack of D&D &D books in the back of this dude's car. Like my car. Plus, the ones that are in my, in my, uh, in my closet, so. I'll be getting rid of those soon, I think, because I don't really need them. I need, I need the players' handbooks and I need the DMG and that's pretty, and the uh, monster oh, manuals. That's all I we'll need. Will do, will do, sir. Will do. I mean, anybody. Thanks, hey, man, anytime that you're on or hey, you want to send us or whatever. Hey, we need to add him to comic book enthusiast too. When you hit us up, I'll make sure he adds you to comic book enthusiast. You're, you're admin. You oh, I'm an admin. Well, I'll add you to it. Yeah, unboxing bros. You'll see our ugly mugs on the thing going. That's what we do. That's how we do things. We try, man. We're like, and you know, we've gotten so we, many people we, laughing at us, and that's what it's all about, man. Dude, it's like it's like we look. We try to be so cool too. We're like, yeah, and, and it just looks like, wow, you guys are gay for each other. <laughs> Awesome rebel. Cool man. Thanks man. Yeah, it's, hey, it's all do good. Do you ever figure out that we know him? Yeah. Yeah, no, he, I don't think we do. I, however, I think I've seen Rebel Comics come up on Kickstarter thing. I think that's where I've seen it from. I, I could be mistaken, but he said he had his Niobe 3 coming up. Yeah, we were just so casual. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, look I'm, at still us, in my, I'm still in my work clothes. I, I worked all day. I came home and threw this on like five minutes before he showed up at the house at midnight. I was like, I'm gonna look like a banana. So I'm a banana. We have five mutual friends. Really, who are they? Uh, there ain't no telling. I'll double check right now. I was on. I'm on. Why are you sending me a life, JD? I don't know you. I'm joking. Huh? A friend of mine sent me a life on a game I play on my phone. And. And uh, six viewers. What's up, viewers? And, uh, Talk to us. We're talking to Rebel Comics here and Jesus Rodriguez. Jesus is. Hey, you're accepted. Hey, Rebel man, plug, plug away on on Unboxing Bros as much as you want to. And once I see that, I'll 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 plug I'll. Uh, I'll thing. save it or I'll uh, share it He'll on the comic comic bot uh, comic uh, enthusiasts, and that's how you get that's how you get some more uh, viewers and some more people backing you, man. We do that for Mike Wolfer all the time. We did it for Polito a little bit. Um, we we back people. Brian Hawkins is awesome. This is what this is all about, man. It's all about networking. It's all about getting connected and getting people what they need and what they want, man. It's that's what he's doing right now. He's I'm doing stuff. I'm doing stuff. I'm so, doing a thing, man. I'm doing a thing. We've been on an hour. Yeah, it, it happens. And uh, sweet, he said you'll see Naya stuff now. Oh yeah. I won't be able to do anything with it till, till tomorrow morning. But, but I will. Hey, um, I just added you to comic book enthusiast. He's eating a shit. What are you talking about? What? Uh, yeah. Um, Everett Hartso does some 80s horror style artwork, prints, comics. Um, <laughs> Mike Wolfer. Uh, good lord, man. Um, oh, uh, as far as horror goes, dude. Uh, Mike dude. Wolfer. That yes. dude has, he has that genre. He does gothic style, though, man. And it's, oh. He has that genre down. Oh, it's to amazing. A, to an art, it's literally. amazing. Um, check out um, check out Everett Hart. So he does some good stuff too. I have some of his old stuff in, in the room back there. Um, there's a couple more that I would recommend, but crap. How, how do I want to even on Kickstarter alone? I mean, it's so crazy, man. So crazy. Okay, you're on your way, dude. You're on your way. I just got the message. Uh -huh.
Okay. All right. Let's do chasers. Mutant, Mutant chasers. chasers. Yeah. There's a lot of them out there. Lights, camera, jungle. <laughs> I mean, Prince, what are you talking about? That might be the mm. other, the other unboxing bro people. Who knows? Uh, that would figure. Yeah, wouldn't be surprising. They're, they're going to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that that's yeah, yeah, horror. Yeah, yeah. That's not horror though. That's um. He's talking about doing an actual Spider Night comic too as well. That's Pharaoh Kane. F A R O K A N E. Dude's amazing. He's gonna be at Dragon Con too. Amazing. His, the guy who does his artwork is um awesome. Jose Varis. If you don't know who Jose Varis is, you're doing life wrong. Ha! I got to say it this time. Yeah, Wretch is a good one. Um, I think there was another one that um, here in Alabama, they had like the Psycho Circus or the Killer Circus or like the Killer Clowns from Outer Space type deal from Inverse Comics here in, here locally in Baldwin County. Yeah, yeah, I sent you a picture of the, the spider Knight stuff. I sure did. Um, by the way, Pharaoh Kane put a halt on number seven of his Pharaoh Kane series. He's starting to do artwork right now, trying to eliminate some of the prints and stuff, some of the costs that he can actually continue doing um, his comics and stuff. So, yeah, dude, Jose Reese is amazing, brother. Um, he also does, he also has another guy doing some other stuff for him, too. I forgot that gentleman's name. I don't want to sit here and try to butcher that man's name. But there's a lot of cool things. Yeah, Spider Knight, it's called Arachnite, actually. Not Spider Knight, but um, Arachnite. Because he tried to make Spider-Man and Batman one, so that's why it's called Arachnite. So it's really cool. Nice. And uh, I think you've seen it when he's taking yeah. off Superman, trying to rip his head off and stuff. I'll definitely check out RB White. Um, I love I love people who um, yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That one. yeah. And, um, and it has the Kryptonite, uh, the Kryptonite uh, stringy stuff, which is awesome. But I'm a big fan of creator slash writer slash artist like Wolfer, uh, Joe Benitez. Um, I know, man. We've got huge ones down here. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. But I'm a big I'm fan. Of, I'm a big, big fan of anything like that. Um, like artists that are, that are also mm -hmm. creator and stuff like that as well. Wolfer is one of my favorite. I call him a god. Joe Benitez is a god um, because, I mean, people who do everything themselves is just awesome. I have no artistic ability at all. Zero. So I can't be that guy. Um, yes, Paul Green. Um, another great artist, in my opinion, is one of the ones that's overlooked. Here lately, he's been overlooked, and that's Jay Lee. I'm a big Jay Lee fan. Um, most people don't like Jay Lee artwork. I love it. Are you still letting your dogs out back? Yeah. Why? Because that one's about to poop everywhere. Which one? The one that's walking towards you right now. Cup, cup, Jaga, poop, poop. Go, squash, 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 squash. Go, go. Here she comes. She's running. Go, go. Yeah, Jay Lee is awesome, man. Go, go. <laughs> so. Yeah, baby girl's like that pee. Make sure she goes off the porch though, because she'll go up there and sit on the sit on the chair. Yeah, Jay Lee is amazing. I'm also a huge, huge fan of uh oh really? What? No. I'm very, very jealous right now. I'm gonna cry. Mr. Higgins, I mean uh Mr. Um Mr. Larry here has actually met um Jay Lee. Who? Jay Lee. He did um. He, he does a lot of cool artwork. He did some work for uh for Blind Box actually on that um on that Revolution comic. Yeah, Jay Lee, I think is one of the best ones ever, man. I, I'm a really, 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 really big fan of him. Big, big fan. Um, I'll tell you another one I'm a big fan of too. Um, besides Jay Lee, is um, it is it has to be. I don't want to say it. Well, I mean he's famous anyway. It's Jay Campbell Scott. How does that? 
Yeah, you do. He did that uh, super. I mean, that GI Joe number two I have back there that's autographed by everybody that worked on it. The one you're gonna give me? The one I'm never gonna give anyone. No. Because I, I mean, I'm a big fan of everybody else likes us. Uh, really? Really? That's that's awesome, man. That is awesome. Jay Lee is probably one of the nicest guys I heard of, man. I already takes time out of his day. Amanda Connor is really cool too. When I met her last year at Dragon Con, she was awesome. Oh, I bet you do, Jesus. I bet you do. But um, when we get back from Dragon Con this year, I'm planning on having a couple of comics left over from um, people I got uh, stuff to do when like commissioned and stuff. And I'll probably be uh, either selling or giving them away. If the, it depends on how much I get them for. Um, if I had to pay a pretty good penny, I'm probably going to sell them. But I'll, put, I'll sell them for what I paid for them. Um, on comic book enthusiasts. Now, also speaking, if and when we do get back from Dragon Con and there's a lot of stuff we got for free, I will be giving those stuff away. Um, if, if Steve's cool with that. Like we get back and stuff, we get a bunch of free stuff that we got from Dragon Con. Give it away when we get back. Why are you looking at me like that, brother? Don't look at me like that. It's going to cost you a dollar. It's going to cost you a dollar. Bruce Tim. There you go. Man. He, yeah. like, he likes Bradstreet. That's his favorite. Timothy Bradstreet is a freaking god, I'm telling you. That's his favorite. If I could find him on Kickstarter, I would back him in a heartbeat. I don't think he does anything anymore, though. He did the, uh, actually, uh, Rebel, you'll know him. He did the original artwork for uh, Vampire the Masquerade. He did a lot of the stuff for them. Yes. Uh, even the remake stuff on uh, Kickstarter. I mean, a lot of stuff for them. He also does the Punisher. He does a lot of Punisher stuff. He did some of the original um, original G, uh, Star Wars stuff on uh, Dark Horse. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, she'll sit down in that chair, man, and just sit there. He can't let her sit there. Get your butt in here. What? What you want? Huh? What you want? You want to be up under my arm? Is that what you want? Let me hold you. Let me hold you tight. Let me use gloves on you all night long. Spoiled rotten. Can't help it. No, you don't me in the face. Go lay down. Go. No, no. No, you will see? You will see that right there? You do. You like it? Come on, hey, sit. Okay, sit. No cheese? No treat treat? What's your name? Come here. Sit. Nope, sit. Shake. Hey, shake. No treat treat? No cheese? Okay, sit, sit. No, okay. Oh man, that'd be awesome. Chicago Wizard Con. Sakami Chan. Man, I, I'm, I'm hoping I have a good time. Last year was amazing. Um, I met, uh, I actually had um, Joe Benita sign some legendary number one virgin art covers. There were only 50 of them ever made. Um, I don't know how much they're worth now with his autograph. <laughs> I haven't actually sent it off to CGC or CBCS or uh, the other company. Um, let's see, what else do I have that I would really love to send off? Oh, that Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti, number one, Power Girl and Harley Quinn. Yeah. Awesome. I actually got him one of those two to autograph. Actually, I got him autographed a uh, number one, uh, Princess Leia by Amanda Connor. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Huge Star Wars fan. Yeah, he's kind of jealous because I got a uh, droids uh, thing from Bambox. A little droids, uh, Star Wars, um, cartoon sketch yeah Sakami Chan cool um uh hey Zeus did you see the stuff I unboxed from um from Image by any chance the uh, September morning comics and the uh the carbon gray stuff which is like steampunk meets meets insanity I've been trying to read that omnibus by the way it's really really good but uh Tonight, I think we're fixing to call it a done deal. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, that way, because we can get him, get him, get home, get some sleep and whatnot. 
and everything as well. And I want to tell you all for thank you. Yes, that was the last video. Yeah, that stuff was awesome. Matter of fact, I gave him one of the comics. Because, you know, got to give my brother or something. Because we are the unboxing bros, and I can't have one without the other. Yeah, man, I apologize, Jesus, man. I really do, brother. Um, this right here is way long. And we apologize as well. But We're going to start trying to cut our videos down to about 30 minutes. Yeah. No matter what. I mean, even if we stop this video and do another one. And uh, we might actually go back to recording them and then put them on, on, uh, on YouTube, YouTube a little bit too. Not all of them. Some of them we're going to do like this. Like, um, I suggest that we pick either Blind Box or, or Bam to, to do live. like this and then we'll do the other one. Well, we should do both of those live and then we'll do um, all the boxes we'll do live with some of the Kickstarters. We'll go back to them on camera, on the phone, or whatever. We may pick one out. Of, we may pick one of it's the two. It's all good, man. And it's we may, all good. Dude, come on. <laughs> RPGers, comics, <laughs> wrestling, everything. It's, it's dude, all in it's, there. It's boom over here, man. Uh, oh, man. Man, it, it, you show, do you show us love, too, brothers? Don't even sit there and say we just show you love. It's a, it's a. How do we always get nine view? Always get higher viewers whenever we're about show, to. I, man, I don't know. It's amazing. Uh, we always have Pop here. Love you, sir. Hey, we're not worried. Uh, we're not worried. We're not worthy. Uh, no, we're not worthy. Not worthy. Not worthy. Not worthy. Not worthy. <laughs> hey, Zeus, you're always here. Mr. Rebel, please come back and chill with us. OMG, love you. Continue hanging out with us. Um, comic Dude, if you don't subscribe to him, you're doing life wrong. Man's amazing. I love his. I love Late Night with the Comic Dude. <laughs> Check out Pop Culture Junkie too. Check, Check out him out. Stuff. Sub to this gentleman right here. Uh, right, right there. Pop sub Culture to, Junkie. Yes. Yeah, sub to Look this gentleman. Look out on YouTube. It's, it's He's amazing. awesome. Go, 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 go hit him up. Oh, man. Sweet. Yeah. You're more welcome anytime. Hang out with us. That's what it's all about. <laughs> oh, I do have one question to ask you right now. Uh -uh. Is your money real? Oh, I wasn't going there, but mine is actually, actually, really. Uh, it's the calling move as well. Yeah, it's the dude. It's the dude. But um, no. Um, do y'all have Crystal Pepsi there yet? Because they were supposed to have it last month, and we were supposed to get it tomorrow. I am a big Pepsi, uh, avid Pepsi drinker. He Huge. has not shut up about this since he learned about it. Man, <laughs> he really you, 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 really, you really don't have a clue why I'm a big, big, big junkie on, on, on soda. It, it's because it's delicious. I likes it a lot. A lot. I got a lot. You haven't seen it? Oh, no. You know what we're talking about there, right? Crystal Pepsi? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows what Crystal Pepsi is, well, man. I mean, it ain't people... Crystal Light, dang it. It ain't Crystal Light. I can't see anything but burgers now, so. If you were to talk about it without me, that was the time. Hey, <laughs> man. You make fun. You can make fun all you want, but wherever I'm over here drinking Crystal Pepsi <laughs> and you're not... You can be jealous, Mr. Hazers. He's gonna be happy with happier than a puppy with two Peters. Or Tommy two dick. It's a so it's, it's a southern thing. Mike and his Pepsi oddities. I love my Pepsi. I love my cinnamon Pepsi. Oh, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I'm a huge Pepsi fan, man. I, matter of fact, I was just drinking some Mountain Dew. I don't even like Mountain Dew, but the Mountain Dew Black Label, for some odd reason, makes me all giggly. It makes me all happy. He's all hyped up on Mountain Dew. I'm all hyped up on Mountain Dew. I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. Uh-huh. Yeah, see? Keep talking. That's why you're not getting Crystal Pepsi, eh, Zeus? <laughs> And uh, if you really want some extra coolers, I think there's some here at the local Walmart. And I, if not, I, I can get you a couple and send your way if you want some. Yes. Yes, Aaron. I yes. do unbox things. That is our gimmick. If, it, if it's not a gimmick, then, it, then I don't know what it is. We, we embrace the culture, Aaron. You so won the Pepsi Challenge in 1990? Nice. 
I'm not I'm not friends with you right now, Pop Cozy. I'm 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 gonna go cry now. I wanted to win the Pepsi Challenge in mean, 90. You think he's kidding? He's really not. He's gonna go cry. I really am. He really likes Pepsi. I really like Pepsi. I just wanted one Pepsi. And just just you one. Want to give it to him. Nope. Just one Pepsi. One Pepsi. I love that they song. Just keep bugging him. Keep bugging him. They just keep bugging. <laughs> Mike Murphy, president. You know if he actually seen this man and actually laughed, I, I, man, I'd be awesome. If he awesome. Said this like something, that'd be awesome. Yes, no, I am so happy you won. Well, the hey, hey, who caught that? Who caught what we were talking about? Come on, there's got to be somebody out there that knows exactly what we're talking about. Hopefully, anyway. say it. God, I'll be. Say it, and we'll freaking send you something. Do it. <laughs> say it, and we'll send you something. Yes, we will. We'll send you Steve in a box. <laughs> Big box, put a box. Yeah, and a bow, and a bow. Yeah, we'll send in a bow too. Now we will send you something though, if you know what we we're talking about. I like doing random things like that. It's kind that's, of fun, yeah, man. Cool. That is really fun. It's like taking, like taking hits from a ball. Oh yeah. Huh? Dude. Yes, and I did go emotional for Pepsi. What What's up, Sean? What happened? No. Just one Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. That's all I remember. Well, and they wouldn't give it to him. Just you one Pepsi. Yeah. And then you said... And they just keep bugging him. They bugging. just keep bugging him. Uh, no, not Weird Al. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they just won the shirt. I know. He said, that's it, man. Oh, oh man. Oh, horrible. You heard it's all right. Me. It's all right. It's okay. It's... Uh, 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 no, no, it's, no, no. We'll use this for, we'll use this for a giveaway later. What, that else? is good. That is that is excellent, actually. It's a good idea. That's all he wanted was a Pepsi. All Just one, one Pepsi. Pepsi. Tell him the name of the guy for president. Mike Murph for president. Mike Murph. They wouldn't give it to him. Just one Pepsi. He's, he they is the lead singer of a band. They just keep bugging um, him. Uh, the name of the song is... No. We can't give away the song either? No, because then they're going to uh, guess it. Uh, oh, they did guess it. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, no. <laughs> yeah, he does have a Pepsi tattoo on his arm, but um, no. Um, does it, he? Yeah, so Monk does have a big tattoo on his arm. Oh. Ah, Marty did just want a Pepsi, but he had a Pepsi Perfect, which I would love to have a Pepsi Perfect. Any six of you or anybody who watches this video wants to send me a Pepsi Perfect or Steve a Pepsi Perfect or us a Pepsi Perfect, I will drink it. On camera, in front of you guys. In front of you. I don't care how old it is. I know it's outdated right now by a couple of months. But you know what? I'm letting you know now. I will drink the hell out of a Pepsi Perfect. Because I know exactly what it's supposed to taste like. And I want one. Just like Pepsi Blue. I loved it. However, it was not feasible for us to have it very long. It didn't but, blow him, so he wasn't happy. Uh, really? He went there? But no, I know that they still make it in Vietnam or Korea, somewhere like that, in the Pepsi Blue. And you can still order it. Believe it or not, it's a true story. I wish I was making that crap up. I love my Pepsi, man. I can't help it. Pepsi, Holiday Pepsi, was amazing. It's regular cola with a cinnamon flavor, just like Crystal Pepsi is going to be clear with a cinnamon flavor. We, just, had, we had one. Just one Pepsi. That's all they wanted. Just one Pepsi. And the guy who sent us our Pepsi, our uh, Crystal Pepsi last time, Thank you, sir. I still loved it, and I still think about it, and I I, I miss it. He does. I do miss it. I show it to everybody because they're like, hey, you ever seen one of these? And they're like, what is that? Oh, God, it's Crystal Pepsi. Why do you have that? I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> we should get sponsored by Pepsi. I wish we could get sponsored by we Pepsi. drop Pepsi's name all night now. <laughs> We're down to five viewers. Because the five of my is Pepsi. It's Pepsi's. <laughs> We're gonna get, we're, man, we'll get the band. That's our gimmick. It's Pepsi. <laughs> we're gonna get the band hammer cease and desist our name. Our, our gimmick is Pepsi's. Choice of a new generation. No, it's a choice of. Oh. Uh, yes, Jesus. Did you uh, look that up? You Googled that, didn't you? Good Lord, man. You Googled it, didn't you? Good Lord, man. He did. He had to have done that. He had to have done that. Good God, dude. That is amazing. Suicidal tendency. Nope, nope, hey, oh, close. Close, though. Close. Same same kind of genre. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's a yes, yeah. like, yeah, cheater! Like, hey, 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 man of my word, though. Yeah, we didn't say that you couldn't do that. All right, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Send us your, uh, your address, man. I we'll, got his stuff on uh, Facebook still. We'll hook you up, brother. We're going to hook you up with something cool. Yeah. Something real cool. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. It's going to be the... I know unlock. you're going to enjoy what I bring, or what I, I drop in. I think you're going to love it because, you know, the unboxing bros do things weird every time. We're no money maker. We don't prank call people. We don't give away stuff all the time. But when we do, we do it big. Big. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. And like I said, though, we are going to call it an evening. It's an hour and 25 minutes and uh, it's two long. seconds. It's way too, it's too long. long. Way too long for this. That's what she said. The Cocoa Pop. Oh, listen at it. He wants your Cocoa Pop. Listen at him. Team no. Cocoa, man. Team Cocoa. No, yeah. No, sir, that's not going to happen. No. Nah. But I can tell you this. Uh, <laughs> nice what, try, though, Jesus. What we put in there, uh, I think you will enjoy it. I hope you do anyway. And you might get a printer 12. <laughs> or 30. Or 100. <laughs> no one us. You might get everything. You're like, hey, we just do a closeout sale. Here, take it off. Probably going to be a pop, a comic, and some prints. And, 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 a, and, a, and a Pepsi. Why not, dude? He just wanted a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. You just one Pepsi. Him. We're going to give you a Pepsi. Look at him. He's like laughing. <laughs> All right, let's close this out. We always close out the same way. We always... No, we're not singing. We always say, support your local comic book store. Salute your gaming stores. Salute your gaming stores? Uh, support your local gaming stores. Sorry. I'm not I'm not good with words. He's drunk. I'm Off drunk. his mind. I mean, he just... He's been drinking all day. Um, get on Kickstarter, man, and support something, because that's what this is all about. Or or get on Indiegogo, which Indiegogo. is basically the same thing. Which I still haven't looked at Indiegogo, so I can't need to. Um, also, oh. support Rebel Comics. He's on Kickstarter. He's been there twice. He's had two funding... Actual funding campaigns on Kickstarter. Check him out. The man's amazing. Get up, get on there and support the culture. And the puppy shelter. Yes. Do not forget the puppy shelters and APS, ASPCA. And Spay and neuter your pets. Oh, yeah. What? Right. Bob Barker does them. <laughs> Price is right. Spay and neuter your yeah, pets, everybody. Uh, no, no. Come on now. <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> Price is wrong, bit. No. <laughs> So you kickstart if you want an alternative. That was the place to be. Aww. Aww. Well, hey, we're we're supporting your your second Kickstarter right here. No, it's the third one, isn't it? He just said second. If you want. Uh, no, the second Kickstarter. If you want alternatives, that's the place to be. Oh. Um, okay. Hey, is it still going or is it is it funded? Because if it's not funded, then we're going to get it funded for you. Or, or, or we're going to try our best. <laughs> we'll try our damnedest. <laughs> we'll do things. We'll go out there topless and, 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 and watch cars. Damn it. <laughs> I, I just puked a little in my mouth. I think I puked a lot in my mouth, but I'm the one who said it. <laughs> so, so yeah, hey, we'll, we'll support. Oh, uh, good. Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's it for us, man. We're, we're out of here. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. just got it. Yes. See, Jesus, you're smarter than us, man. Yeah, tonight we're stupid. We're so stupid. We're so stupid. We're so dumb. We're so dumb. We just don't know what we're talking we're, about. We're Pepsi drunk. We're Pepsi drunk. Hey, by the way, it is, hey, it is August 8th, ain't it? Dude, Crystal Pepsi's at damn stores. I, I guess we're going out to get some Crystal Pepsi. Love you guys. See you all uh, whenever um, uh, stuff comes in and whatnot. <laughs> and if I'm still here living, he's, breathing, he's living. I hope I am. I found out Pepsi drunk. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for checking us out. Love you all. One love. Be kind.